world. Kumusta, kumusta po tayong lahat? It's me, Mami Jean UK here once again. I'm hoping to be doing this a very quick video. But again, um, this video will be talking about um, a renewal of of our passport in the Philippine Embassy in London. Yes, mga ka-friendship, I would just like to share to you our journey um, in getting a, a renewal appointment uh, from the from from getting an appointment to going there. So anyways, mga ka-friendship, so our place we live um two hours away from from the from london from the embassy so we had to really go there quite early and we were able to to book a, a an appointment online kasi lang um when i first booked mine it was january this year 2021 and i was uh, i only was able to get the june 15th which is very close to our renewal of visa and i don't have plenty of time to to be able to wait for the for the renewed passport to you know to submit with the with the application of the visa here in UK so so nag request po ako ng ng earlier appointment and thanks god um it was granted um nag reply naman po sila agad i think it it took like two days for them to reply on my email so nag reply po sila asking if if um if I am available in a certain date that they are that they gave, so sabi ko naman, of course, who am I to to choose for a date? I have to ako ang ako ang kailangan mag-adjust because it's it's us who really need to have the appointment um earlier appointment. So yun ang binigyan kami ng appointment on the May fifth last Wednesday. So so nagpunta kami. So we left here at five o'clock, and then when we got there, it was quite early. It was still like na, around 9 a.m. so we we just room around and then we we from the victoria coach station it's very close and we probably walk like 16 minutes and then from the victoria coach station to the to the philippine embassy and when we got there it there was a long queue so we got there before our appointment which is our, which was our appointment was 12 noon so um ang nangyari po mga ka friendship what i noticed is there are a lot of people or not really a lot but there are those who try to walk in pero i would suggest mga ka friendship as um as um as per experience and observation hindi basta basta po makakakuha ng or makakapag uh, mag go walk in ka lang doon you really have to go through the to go to get an online um appointment but the thing is um sabi nga nila and based on my own experience as well pag uh, kumuha ka ngayon it will take you to the next year na kasi puno na yung yung ano nila yung appointment yung slots but at the, but um you can still um but you can try cuz um there was few of those um na nakatira lang sa London mga two or three people there na na nagtry sila night before that day so tuesday night um nagtry sila to check if there's available slots kasi may mga iba na nagka-cancel so yun um they're lucky to be able to get an appointment straight away the following day so it's okay um pagka ano malapit ka lang or kasi you need to book for a coach like us so it's also quite um hard to get a coach because yung coach uh, due to the pandemic um very limited lang yung coach yung trip ng coach so yun um so kailangan talaga na mag 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 apply ka ng appointment ahead of time online and if it's really immediate that you really need to 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 get to get your up your passport renewed um this as soon as possible so yun makiusap ka like what like what i did i did i beg and i explain our side so yun ang pinagbigyan naman kami so yeah so when we get there it so hindi kagaya kagaya uh, i mean hindi kagaya dati five years ago when i renewed my my passport nakakapasok ka agad you know sa door but this time um, you have to queue outside, even though you already have your appointment. Um, you still have to queue outside, kasi tatawagin lang yung name mo if you are in their list. And then after that, um, like for us, um, our appointment was twelve, and I think we were only entertained like half past twelve noon. So yun, um, so you mag queue pa din sa labas and social distancing pa din, and then yun, um, 
you know, kung ma kung ikaw malay, kung nakatira ka sa malayo, you really have to give yourself at least two to three hours um yung sa na sa uh, while you are in the embassy sa so, para lang you know to have plenty of time na hindi ka mag rush going back. So if you're if you're taking a coach, um so you really need to have a, like um medyo malayo la yung ano yung ano niya yung yung return niya ng coach but anyway so when you get inside naman it's pretty easy you have you just have to make sure that you all you have all the documents with you and for like for your for the renewal of um passport it depends kung pa kung like ako adult i me and my two my eldest son which is 19 years old um adult kami so we we were only asked to have a copy of our of our passport and of course the original passport and then but then if you are with a minor you have to also include their birth certificate and then your passport being the 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 parent of the of the minor so yun ang ang dadalhin yun you have to make sure na may ka, may dala ka na ding ano envelope na um may yung sa royal mail na envelope for para sa passport na ibibigay si sayo so yun um but then if you don't have that um ano pa tawag doon yung para naka ready na na ano for return na i'm not ready making this video see <laughs> so yeah so kung wala ka naman noon you can just um buy it from Ate Jessie Ate Jessie is a Filipina selling um a lot of Filipino foods even mga humba yung rice if you know if you're hungry waiting you can just go and grab Ate and buy at from Ate Jessie Ate Jessie is just standing uh, just across the Philippine embassy so you can have a snacks like as we bought we bought ano um pandesal so nagbibenta din si Ate Jessie nitong um postage yung yung envelope nga na na may may stamp na so so yon so anyway so when you get inside they will just check your your papers your documents and you will and they will um and then you have to pay and then after that it won't take that long yung sa, pag nasa loob ka na so yon um tapos aakyat ka sa first floor and then you they will take your fingerprints and of course your photograph ganun lang naman so it's it's not it's not too hard and the only uh, problem is because nga nang, nang dahil sa pandemic um it's quite longer this time so for as long as you have all your documents with you and you have to make sure before you get there um wala magiging problema naman it was smooth and easy para sa amin because i got everything ready so guys if you have questions kung ano yung mga kailangan documents kung ilang copies you can um check the website it's all there and also if you have questions um with regards to journey or kung ano yung mga kailangan like let's say for example i if you want to for me um i was using in my old passport um i'm using my my single name so i was gonna use my my married name sa next uh, sa renewed passport ko but then i was um i was I was not able to book uh, an appointment kasi hindi siya pwedeng like I have all the documents for the report of marriage kasi hindi ko siya ni-report I was married 5 years ago here but then hindi ko siya dapat kasi um, hindi ko siya ni-report so i-report ko sana para magamit ko siya for my re renewed passport kaso lang you have to uh, book separately if you want to report your marriage you have to book a separate appointment for it. So, it's kind of like annoying in a way because andun ka na eh, andun ako. I have all the documents ready for the report of marriage but still, they did not accept it. So, I just had to, to you know, accept the fact that I could not use my married name at the moment for my, for my new passport but I can just change it in the future. But again, for those people who, who wants to use their married name sa pa renewed passport nila, you have to make sure that you have that you you book and a separate appointment even though you got the same day but still you have to book a separate um appointment for the renewal of passport and the report of marriage so yan po mga ka friendship i hope you enjoyed my my video and and i hope to get to make more videos in the future and then yeah so mag-ailr na po kami so later on um 
um, I will be sharing to you also as well um, my journey in in applying for ILR with my two older boys. So when they get here, they were like minors, both of them 13 and 15. But now, now that we will be, um, now that our that we are due for ILR, my, yung eldest ko is 19 already, and my my second son is 15, uh, 17. So, so yung 19 years old ko, he has to go through the same same requirements as I have. Like, um, he he had to take the the life in the UK test, with, which both of us uh, went together, and you know it it was just quite easy. So, ililink ko din dito sa description below yung ano, gumawa kasi din ako ng video um, about you know, the, our, our journey to the when we took the life in the UK test. And then um, he also has to take um, um, English test even though nakapagtapos siya dito ng high school, na my GCS is silang English, he passed and even um, nag, um, his take, and even nag college sila dito, um, being up a part of um ko ano siya yung yung requirement and and as as well as um 18 above kailangan na talagang mag mag uh, mag take ng english test so luckily and he also passed the test it was quite easy for him and yeah so so yun um yun lang mga ka friendship yung 17 years old ko he, he don't have to take anything because he's still minor so thanks guys for watching see you in my next video bye for now